Reddit. What's the most freaked up thing you've seen someone do at a supermarket? There was an old lady snacking on frozen chicken legs while pushing her cart around. She had wild semi-dreaded grey hair, layers of earth-coloured dresses, and a hunchback. That blew my 10-year-old mind. She really was a witch. While working at Walmart, I watched a woman grab a jar of organic peanut butter, smash the glass bottle on the ground, and use the shards to cut her face. After slicing the frick out of her face she ran up to my stunned butt and asked to see a manager. I walkied somebody over and the manager rushed her into the office while asking me to call 9 one, one. Apparently she was an addict and jonesing hard. She figured the best thing to do was get hurt at Walmart so they would give her a million dollars for pain and suffering. Shockingly enough, Walmart didn't pay out to the junkie that cut up her own face. Crap I was going to say a couple of guys taking coke in the toilet at an ASD near me but you win. A homeless man living in the corner of the garden center at Walmart. He set up camp behind the industrial shelves. Stole a tent and was living there for a week. He was sharp lifting all his supplies and food. Got ballsy and stole a George Foreman grill and was cooking a steak at 2am. FD was called for smoke in the building and found him behind the shelves. Was a pretty solid plan actually. There was a woman at Target yelling at her 5 year old son for crying and embarrassing her. I mean she was screaming things like you ruined my life, you little crap etc. Luckily the manager told her to leave and called social services after she not so subtly threatened him. Yikes, that would break my heart to see that. I once saw somebody open a bottle of milk, sniff it and wrinkled her nose in disgust. Then proceeded to pour the bit of milk she didn't like into another bottle and buy the first bottle. This is the most confusing. This like 5 year old kid emptied a 4 pint bottle of milk all over floor. And her mum just stood there and watched. What aff lady. Control your ridiculous child. Did they cry? I worked in a large supermarket a few years back and some guy came in walked round the store and every now and then dropped a nugget of turd by shaking his trousers. It happened 3 consecutive weeks before someone worked out who it was. He was leaving a trail of poo crumbs to find his way back home. A fat guy hurried into the store. He was beat red and sweating profusely. He rushed up to the counter with a few bottles of extra strength laxative. As soon as I finished scanning them he started chugging them. He paid cash and I handed him his receipt and change. He burped and pushed the receipt and now empty bottles towards me and calmly walked out of the store. I'm usually in a rush after I drink the laxative. Way, way too late for this. But I'm a cashier, and this guy walks up to my counter with a full roast chicken. I glance at him and continue checking out the person in front of me. When I look back, he is gone. My manager comes sprinting up the aisle, picks up the chicken, shakes the container angrily and yells, I knew IT. He did IT again. I pull the container over and the guy had just taken a single bite out of the top of the chicken and left it. I have no idea how many times he's done it but apparently enough for my manager to recognize him. For some reason this really made me laugh. Just a few. Elderly woman in just bra and panties buying fresh fish. Customer hitting one of my co-workers in the face with a thrown apple. Scrawny shoplifter being flattened by 6 feet 7 inches store manager. The worst one though was a line of liquid crap leading up one aisle and back down the next one. LMFAO I wanna know more about the elderly woman. I was a cashier at Kroger for a bit. The employee restroom was in the back of the store so us front end people would always use the public bathroom at the front of the store. I had to pee one day and ran in the men's room. There was only one stall, which was massive. Cause it was a handicap stall. Other than the stall, there was a urinal. I was at the urinal doing my business when I hear the door open behind me and hear someone literally run into the handicap stall and almost immediately start crapping. Just the worst most awful sounds you can imagine coming out of some human's butthole, along with grunts and groans from the person, and the smell. The smell was atrocious. I'm trying to finish peeing and I look down just to get a glimpse of this person's shoes so that I can see who this monster is when they come out of the bathroom, by identifying them by their shoes, and I realize I can't see any feet. In fact, I don't see anyone at all. 
I can see the bottom of the toilet and the floor, but no human being. I think what the heck and move away from the urinal and over to the sink, which is in front of the door to the handicap stall, and the door is wide open because the person didn't close it. Thanks to the wide open door I see that the person is crouched in the corner of the stall, opposite of the toilet, and just crapping directly on the bathroom floor. The guy realizes I'm looking at him, makes eye contact with me and with a completely serious and blank face says oh, sorry, and pulls his pants up and moves right past me and out the door. He didn't wipe or anything. He just stood up and left, leaving a triceratops sized pile of crap on the bathroom floor. I was so dumbfounded by all of this that I didn't even say anything to anyone. I just left the bathroom and went back to my check lane. Really a beast old lady at Walmart just trying on deodorants and putting them back. Think she tried like 20 before she was satisfied to continue on without putting one in her cart. And quietly panicking trying to remember if my deodorant had that plastic tampo wrap stuff on it or not. Some lady shat herself in the meat department as a diversion while her buddy attempted to steal packs of polished sausage and deli meat in the midst of all the drama. They failed epically. Worked in a small local mini market. There was an assistant manager there that none of us liked. He was incompetent but really smarmy because his dad owned the company. One day a known shoplifter comes in, a Roma gypsy in her 60s. So he tracks her on the CCTV and sees her stash a bottle of expensive shampoo up her skirt. Delighted that he was going to catch her in the act and be a hero he immediately went to confront her. Before he got to her she had obviously felt something was up and put the shampoo back. When he confronted her and said he knew she was hiding something she whipped off her dress in one quick motion and stood there stark naked and challenged him to find the shampoo on her person. He looked simultaneously devastated and disgusted and told us afterwards that he could hear us all laughing in the security office from the shop floor. This portly kid at a Safeway took a chocolate donut bar out of the case and ran his finger down the frosting. Then he licked his finger clean, put the donut back, and simply walked away. Poor man's Ariana Grande. Saw a dude standing in the queue, picking his nose and touching simultaneously all the candy bars before making his decision. And this is why I always pick the one in the back. My friend was pregnant with twins and was at Wegmans with our other friend. Unfortunately I didn't get to witness this. Her water broke in, of all places, the pickle aisle. She threw jars of pickles on the liquid to hide it, then left. She said she didn't really know why she did that. She freaked out and didn't want anyone to think she pee herself. Not thinking I'm massively pregnant with twins and water breaking is an actual thing. I was working in the floral department. A large old woman in a motorized cart asked if I could honor her expired coupon. I told her I didn't have a register in my debt, and pointed out customer service at the front of the store. Also, we didn't even have the product the coupon was for. She purposely backed into a display of potted pants but couldn't knock them over to make her point, so she made a sharp turn and pushed over a few plants that were on the floor. She looked at me triumphantly with the expectation that my day would be ruined. Ruined. But alas. I shrugged my shoulders and continued with my corsage making. She rolled away dejected to go torture the people in customer service. I didn't get paid enough to care and made sure to wait to clean it up to deny her the satisfaction of seeing me pick up her mess. These people are so immature. Jesus. You treated her with respect. And that's the response. Wow I'm honestly really pee off now. A very obese woman in a motorized cart crapped her pants. She stopped about 12 feet from where I was working, lifted her left leg and did a little shake as a pile of crap slid down her pant leg right onto the floor. I stood there in disbelief as she just motored on like nothing happened. Not 10 seconds later, another customer ran their car through it and it left little crap streaks across the floor from every revolution the wheel made like dotted lines on a roadway. If I'm ever morbidly obese in a motorized cart and I have no shame in crapping myself in the supermarket. Please kill me. Once saw someone with a steak in their cart looking at Riesling. Imagine, Riesling with steak. That person was insane. Not me but a former manager that witnessed this. We have a rather large 24 hour grocery store in our city. She was there shopping after closing at work. After midnight. As she was shopping, a man with severe burns on his face and body like needed emergency medical treatment, was walking around and begging people to buy him Neosporin. 
When you can't afford healthcare crap like this happens. A customer was walking around the store carrying a jar full of her poop and showing it to people. I kid you not. It was a health food store. I was sitting in the cafe area filling out an application to work there when she just walks up to me. A middle aged, musty, frumpy, smelly, pushing a cart around slowly and thrust the pickle jar in my face saying, look what came out in my colon cleanse the poop was just floating in there, loosely formed, yellowish, disgusting, it floated in what appeared to be urine, I tried to remain calm and civil, because I was applying to work there, didn't want to cause a scene, and the customer is always right and stuff, I told her that's not something I wanted to look at, but thanks, and glad her cleanse worked out, that's when she handed me a business card and said to call her, she did colon cleansing for a living, when she shuffled off, poop jar in hand, I took my application to the manager, and told him, OBTW, you have a lady in the store showing her poop to people, as I said that, she could be seen over in the produce department, showing her jar to a new unsuspecting victim, the manager laughed and said, her again, I told her not to bring that jar in here again which caused me to laugh, she was escorted out of the store, I was hired that day, so there's that. The customer is always right and stuff. That phrase means, the customer is the arbiter of which products sell and which don't, by means of choosing which to buy, in no way should it be interpreted to mean that customers should be treated as if they are unable to. That lady should be instantly told to get out and never come back. Mothers letting their kids play with the bulk foods, salad and soup bar, disgusting little germ magnets that can do no wrong. We're all disgusting germ magnets. When I was very young I saw a roughly 80 year old man wearing a see through fishnet tank top and cut off Jean shorts in Kmart. This image has stuck with me my entire life. This is what I imagined the personification of Florida to be. This isn't fricked up but I thought it was hysterical. I was ringing these two middle aged guys up on my line, and I rang up a couple bananas and a giant thing of soda so the soda went crashing into the bananas. And one of the guys said whoa you're crushing my bananas and the other guy yelled in the most flamboyant voice I've ever heard that's not what you said in bed last night. B and I couldn't stop laughing for 10 minutes. Lady with two kids, maybe 4 and 7, come into the store with the grandma. The 4 year old is sitting in the empty cart and the 7 year old is running up and down the aisles pushing her. Neither adult gives two shoots at this point. The cart flips over and the lady drops a glass gallon jar of barbecue sauce she was holding. Screams and runs to the cart. She picks up the 4 year old cradles her. Starts wailing and crying. Just rocking her on the floor back and forth. All while sitting in the barbecue sauce. The grandma starts letting the 7 year old have it. He is back to a 7 plus ft foot tall display of Ritz cracker I had built earlier that morning. Then the grandma calls him a bastard and shoves him into the display and the whole thing comes down on top of him. They pick up the 4 year old and just leave the store. I help uncover the 7 year old and he runs out the store after the mom. Totally fricked up. 90 year old woman stealing Tylenol. Guy chugging a bottle of Listerine original. Greasy fat guy stuffing meat down his sweatpants. Old people crapping themselves and then walking around like it ain't no thing. Guy got charged for stealing water. He stole a bunch of vitamin waters concealed then in a duffel bag. I've worked in a few stores. Guy chugging a bottle of Listerine original. Pretty sad. Alcoholic who has hit rock bottom. The totally fricked thing that I witnessed at a grocery store happened to me. Santa Cruz Mission Saint Safeway. I went in to buy some normal stuff in a normal way. Bread and eggs. Some juice. I was at the checkout stand when I opened the carton and noticed an egg was cracked. The person working the register said to leave it and grab a fresh carton. They handed me the receipt. I picked up my fresh carton and exited the building. Outside. Two loss prevention guys accosted me, grabbed me aggressively, accused me of robbery, and pulled me through the store into the back room. I told them I paid for all my groceries, and handed them the receipt. Dude looks at it, drops it on the floor and handcuffs me. I am detained there for over an hour, when I have classes to go to, until finally the kind soul who checked me out takes five and is en route to the break room. 
sees me, and tells the goon squad they are crazy and better let me go immediately. And they gave me a $50 gift card which I did not use. Dang. That's ridiculous. I'd never shop there again. I once saw a woman check out with a presto log, fake fire log, and a single banana. Maybe it wasn't fricked up, but I sure had to resist the temptation to ask if she had a big night planned. Damn it. Forgot the Vaseline. My dad is an assistant manager at a Kroger owned store and some 16 year old OD in the bathroom yesterday right before my dad's shift started, so there's that. You know how some people will pick up a chocolate bar or a can of coke, and eat drink it in the store, then give the poor cashier the garbage and pay for it at the cash? I saw someone doing that, but with a whole cooked ham. And not one of those little deli hams either, it was one of those 5 kilograms bastards they sell at Easter. I've worked as a cashier, does it really bother you when someone hands the cashier something like that? As long as it wasn't gross I didn't care, you wanted a snack drink as you walked around, it happens. I was selling Girl Scout cookies outside a grocery store once and suddenly there's some commotion and an ambulance showed up. They brought out a body bag. Turns out a dude had a blood alcohol level so high he died while on the toilet in the public restroom. Not so much fricked up as it is sad, but there's this middle aged white trash looking woman I see sometimes at Target and she's always buying the same crap. Two giant 24 packs of Mountain Dew and a stack of frozen pizzas. That's it. That's her life. Mountain Dew and pizza. Our Tesco used to be open during the night and one night my partner and I were getting some midnight snacks as you do. Walking past the meat aisle and this guy with no hair, about 50 had a big chunk of meat, in its plastic ceiling, and his hand down his trousers. I guess he couldn't wait long enough to take it home. When I was a stocker at a small grocery store, we had a shoplifter get caught stealing steaks. He had put them down his pants and the owner managers caught him and pushed him into the back room. Then, a bunch of the stokers wrestled him to the floor and pinned him while he screamed, I'm a plant. Ah finally, I was once at a supermarket on the last day of the month. It was a party to close out the month at the office I was working at. Anyway, bald guy walks in and looks like he's going to kill someone. Just very angry looking. He get to the bread aisle and goes up to this woman and goes, You, I'm gonna butt frick your wife. I'm gonna butt frick your wife. Lady goes running. Guy moves on to another aisle and starts telling people what he's going to do their wives. Five minutes later he was out the door with a smile on his face. My dad worked at a grocery store so I spent a lot of time before school there. This older lady named Mary was always hanging around. She was a little nuts. I was outside waiting for the bus. And a couple guys came up and started harassing her. She threatened to hit one of them with her purse and he laughed. She grabbed her purse by the handle, reared back, and hit him in the head with it. The guys fell to the ground, out cold. I looked at her, she looked at me and smiled, then pulled two bricks out of her bag. There's a man in town who trained his tiny dog to sit on his shoulder. He walked into the supermarket that way. I'm sure there's a health rule against it. For the last time you knowledge grabber, that tiny dog is called a parrot. I worked as a courtesy clerk, bagging and mop up, in high school. I saw many things, for example, your typical blood and crap smeared bathroom stall or shattered in pile of clothes, but the most memorable was this woman and her kid that would come in regularly. The kid was probably 6 or 7 and was a real terror. I got the feeling like the mom had a lot of problems and the child's behavior was the least of them. She let him run free and pretty much use the store as his playground. He would knock things down. He broke wine bottles all the time. He would open food and leave the wrappers. He would rummage through the dry goods as if he was a wild raccoon. I would have preferred he was a raccoon. In the worst instance he was tearing through the bulk candy, maxing out his cheeks chipmunk style and dropping candy everywhere, when he decided to just take a full pee in his pants. Mid-aisle, I came around the corner right at the conclusion of the pee. He saw me, did like a Woody Woodpecker type laugh, and booked it leaving a trail of pee footprints. The mom never said anything about the messes, and we never said anything to her. She would buy what she came for and drag the kid out. Then everybody would look at me with a raised eyebrows look that wordlessly says sucks to be you right now. It was one of those character building jobs. 
Not me, but my fiance, worked at a local supermarket. Apparently someone came in about midnight and walked the aisles, dragging a dead cat on a leash. They called the cops and it turned out he's been in and out of mental health facilities. They took him to his house and found many more dead cats in his fridge. At Walmart, I was finishing up the last of my V-Day errands. A girl said hi to me, but that's not the creepy part. She started following me around the store, and I was secretly aware of this. She followed me literally everywhere I went in the store, and didn't get a new item from each section I visited. Then I randomly see another girl twerking bottomless in the cooking supply aisle. I got the stuff I needed and nope the frick out of that place ASAP when that girl finally stopped following me. Sounds kinda like a David Lynch film. 1am, middle of winter in a small town in southern Indiana, Walmart, the hunting fishing section. I saw a dude carrying around a premature baby. I didn't even think it was alive at first. It was so tiny. I had to stare at it for a good 10 seconds to notice its breathing. He was walking around with a group of people, all wearing generic camo, in their early 20s, and none of them were acting like anything was wrong. They didn't have a stroller, blanket, bag, anything for this baby. Dude wasn't even holding it tight. He just had it resting on one arm. I was so scared he was going to trip and drop it, and I was going to see a baby die right in front of me. I honestly just turned around and walked off. I really hope that baby was okay. Let me just tell you. I used to work in a small town grocery store, in a very country town. So a lot of the guys dipped. Which is fine. Whatever. Better than smoking I guess, since it doesn't affect others. Unless. These darn customers are shopping normally when they feel the need to spit, which I guess is a requirement of their habit, usually solved by a spit cup or a nearby trash can, which there were plenty of, but number. Some stinking people apparently think it's okay to spit in empty boxes that haven't been picked up by unsuspecting workers yet. You know the short, half boxes that can sometimes are displayed in? Watch out for those because those seem to be a favorite. I have had to clean clumps of tobacco I spit from shelf backs. People are disgusting. I am sorry since this seems ranty, but once you stick your hand in someone else's cold, black spit, it starts to get to you. TL. DR. Some people like to use dip for more nefarious uses than mouth cancer. Comma small town. Comma done. Checks out. Had quite a few. A loss prevention guy that loved his job. We hear over the speakers you, in the shoe department. I saw what you did, put it back and leave and we won't have an issue. A minute later, don't try to hide in the dressing room. I know you're in there. Last chance to put it back before you are arrested. It continues as he basically follows her around the store on camera over the PA. And she allegedly kept trying to hide places in the store instead of running for it. It ended with you should have ran while you could. The state police will be waiting by the exit with me. I can't wait to meet you and get to know you. Also, lady in a wheelchair is a regular customer that a local shop and safe hates. She lets her children do anything they want and just says she can't do anything to control them because she's in a wheelchair. She is also a very mean and ignorant person to every employee. She finally got kicked out of the store when her kids opened up roughly 30 bags of jelly beans and dumped them all over the candy aisle and threw them at each other and customers. While she never even bothered to ask them to stop, the manager meets her at the register and hands her a bill for the damages and she refuses to pay, saying she will sue the store. He tells her to leave and never return and you literally hear an ovation from all the employees, as they had gathered to see the showdown. When I was a baby my parents took me shopping at our local grocery store. They had me sitting in the baby seat in the cart. It was the 80s and I was wearing just on C and a diaper. My mom got to the check stand and started to unload the cart. She noticed a frothy yellow goo on some of the items. She looked at my dad, then the items, and then back at my dad. He immediately panicked, shook his head and simply said nope and walked out the door. She told the woman at the register that she'd forgotten something, and put the items back in the cart. She then proceeded to find an empty aisle and ditch the cart. They didn't go back to that store for years. TL. DR. I crap all over the groceries and my parents left them for someone else to deal with. A little backstory. I worked for a big box retailer. We were in a complex with a grocery store. We had a regular. There was very clearly something wrong with her. 
she would come in about 3 times a week and buy a coffee maker and go home and try and make a cup of coffee, then she would bring it back, hours later, hot, wet and full of coffee grounds. Now to the supermarket. One day I was shopping and saw our regular at the grocery store. She had a shopping cart full of bags of frozen peas. I honestly think she had every bag of frozen peas in the store. I was curious so I followed at a distance for a little bit. Eventually she dumped the cart in a different area of the store and left. Within a minute a worker grabbed the cart and started putting the peas back. He had the same resigned look on his face that we got when she brought back a coffee maker. I can only assume she visited them as often as us. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.